to the day of unrest in India again over that controversial new citizenship law that critics say discriminates against Muslims. In some areas, police use water cannons and they also use tear gas. Protesters defied a ban on large gatherings. <laughs> targeting a community without naming it. It violates the basic structure of the Constitution. It is divisive and exclusive. It will destabilize our polity and 18 to 20 million people will not trust us. It weakens the foundation of our culture, of our beliefs, of our ethos. It has consequences that you can't even imagine. And this is part of your political strategy. Now, chronology is going to be the CAB. सीए भी आने के बाद एनआरसी आएगा और एनआरसी सिर्फ बंगाल के लिए नहीं आएगा पूरे देश के लिए आएगा
तो जरा उपयोग करो मेरी सरकार आने के बाद 2014 से आज तक मैं सर एक करोड़ देशवासियों को कहना चाहता हूं कहीं पर भी एनआरसी शब्द पर कोई चर्चा नहीं हुई है कोई बात नहीं हुई है हम इस पर बिल्कुल साफ है कि इस देश में एनआरसी होकर रहे
Dr. Self Style Godwin Baba Siaram Das has been arrested by Sitapur police for sexually assaulting a 21 year old girl for eight months. Over four years after a BSP politician Deepak Bharadwaj was gunned down in his farmhouse, a self style Godman who was a part of the murder plot has been arrested. Dati Maharaj, who heads Shani Dham in Fatehpur Beri, has been accused of sexual assault. A woman disciple has alleged that she was sexually assaulted inside Shani Dham. Two aides of self style Godman Nityanand have been arrested in Ahmedabad for alleged abduction. A third arrest warrant has been issued against Hisar Godman Rampal. Singh was found guilty of raping two women who were followers of his religious sect. Gamid Ram Rahim Singh, India's self-styled Godman, has been jailed for 10 years following his conviction for rape last Friday. The report said police beat students indiscriminately while using rubber bullets, tear gas and stun grenades.
library and thrashing the students who were sitting there and studying in the library of that university. There are also masked men that can be spotted inside the library along with the police there. It forms part of a larger pattern of violence against religious minorities. At least 600 similar attacks have taken place since May 2014 when Narendra Modi, a Hindu nationalist and leader of the right-wing BJP party, became Prime Minister of India. 149 of these assaults were against Christians. The rest were targeted at the country's Muslim community. The attacks, say critics, are being orchestrated by Hindu nationalist groups affiliated to the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh or the RSS. Activists of the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh RSS have been indicted in at least 13 terror cases across India. Former Maharashtra Inspector General of Police S.M. Mushrif described the BJP's ideological mentor as India's number one terrorist organization. RSS activists have been charge sheeted in at least 13 cases of terror acts in which RDX has been used. If organizations like Bajrang Dal are taken into the account, then the number of such cases goes up to 17, Mushrif said. The RSS is India's number one terrorist organization. There is no doubt on this. I have listened to enough rubbish from you. We are all now part of Modi's nation. You have no business making a personal attack on any of my panelists. Look at this. this it's is... all saffron. It was a fantastic speech. Is India's media facing a credibility crisis? <laughs>
violence is becoming a new normal for journalists in India. Around 50 have lost their lives within the last 12 years. The country has slipped in the World Press Freedom Index to 140 out of the 180 countries listed. That's behind Afghanistan and South Sudan. Rigorous journalism is still taking place, mostly through online outlets. WhatsApp, a messaging tool for most of us, but in India, it can be deadly. The weaponization of WhatsApp is dominating headlines, magazine covers, and prime time news debates. happening with an alarming regularity and it is happening all across the country. Malicious rumors spreading over this popular messaging platform has led to the killings of at least 30 people.
government is voted to power or out of power because of bad economics. People are emotional. They voted for us largely because, not that we'll do new economics, but because we'll build the Ram Temple, we'll give a new identity to the Hindus, uh, and we'll unite the country, we'll teach the Pakistanis a lesson. There are a number of emotional things. My, my, my. efficient, we wouldn't be in this mess to begin with. It's also commonplace for the Andhbhakt to call anyone who criticizes the government a Congress supporter. When all their arguments are unable to hold water, the name calling starts. Everyone who is criticizing the BJP is either paid by the Congress or a supporter of the party. Which is why I'd just like to say, fuck the Congress too.